Yo, what's up Giants fans, Hub Watchers, YouTube and Rumble subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers, it's Kush back at it again with another New York Giants video. There's a different one today. Uh, we gonna be watching the Giants Life episode together, figuratively of course, because I'm sure a lot of you have already seen it. I haven't had the chance to look at it yet. Now is when I have a chance. I saw one clip of it online uh, through Talking Giants. It was the the clip of Brian Dable talking about it. if somebody sees a cool play, send it to him. You know, he'll he'll name the play after them if they use it in a game to call him Coach Dabes, basically, and uh, to, you know, give him some space after a loss. And that was pretty funny. And from what I saw a lot of people talking about it on Twitter is that they're getting a nice sense of change and, and just freshness, brevity, maybe even youthfulness from this uh, new regime just something that they like and i mean i watch all giants life episodes so i was gonna check it out anyway and usually i kind of give my thoughts on it in a stream or in a video so i was kind of why not like why not combine it together do sort of a reaction video for you guys obviously i'm not gonna put the entire giants life episode in here but you know just the parts that really really come up and if i know them if i know how the giants life episodes works we're probably going to see something from the senior bowl in here, which I am really excited about because you guys know I'm a big draft guy. So, I mean, without further delay, let's just get to that Giants Life episode and let me press play. You ready? Is he, is he talking to, like, a cameraman that's outside the vehicle or something? I mean, yeah, Um, I guess let me pause it real quick. In terms of there being only 32 teams in the NFL, yeah, I mean, most guys... If they're offered a head coaching job or if they're offered a general manager job, yeah, they take it. So I, I don't know why I want to highlight that, but I'm glad that he kind of spoke the obvious, so to speak, right there. Like a really good All right, we finally at the Giants facility. Oh, nope, we are at an airplane. Welcome Teterboro. to the City sports scene. Joe Whoever Shane said that, that's a lie. Shane. I'm looking to get blown away by the first draft. Is such a huge I agree with that one, Welcome the first draft. I, th I think we could all agree with that one. It'll make you proud on the field and off the field. Joe Shane, how are you today, buddy? Let me real quick, let's see this. We all like the Joe Shane hire, right? Like, we all like the Joe Shane hire. But we can, can we admit when we see, you know, just that, uh, I call it coach speak, so do we call it GM speak? Like, we fully expect you to be ready to work hard and whatnot. Uh, and there was a scene at the beginning, I believe, where they talked about, um, or they showed a clip at the beginning where he's like he won't be expecting to kind of taking be taking a breath until may you know implying that he's going to be completely engrossed in draft work and free agency work which that is something we haven't heard from dave gellman for sure um just man looking back on it right like i i still stand by i think gellman up until actually i was about to say up until his last year but his second year and his third year of the four years, or was Gellman here five years? He was here four years, right? I'm going to say 2019 and 2020 were good years, right, for the most part, especially with the draft. For the most part, they were good years. 2021 was, eh, the draft was still good, at least like the first two rounds, but we know the situation he left us in with Cap. 2018 was just very bleh. You guys remember that guy we brought in from Arizona, um, Car Connor Barwin, man? Like, damn. But but getting back to the point here, right? It is definitely a nice change to have somebody that actually talks like that rather than Gelman who was kind of joking with the media. I'm not even sure if that's the right term to use. But he wasn't really a guy to give straight answers now, was he? I really didn't know what I wanted to do out of, out of college. I was a communications major trying to feel my way through exactly what I wanted to do with my life and you know luckily I had an internship with the Carolina Panthers when I was 21 years old let me just ease this a bit you know I'm not gonna lie to y'all bro uh, I'm kind of I don't know what I want to do with my career right now my uh degree for those of you that know I'm a comm side degree I've began taking a couple of data sciences database management courses I'm not gonna lie to you if I could somehow use that to be a data scientist in the NFL that might be a dream job for me, man, but just just kind of sharing my piece there. You know, Shane didn't know what he wanted to do, come out of college, and I don't think anybody does, or for the most part, most people do. But it would be pretty cool if I could work as a data scientist in the NFL. Mobile, Alabama, the 2022 Senior Bowl is kind of a week-long. 
Now this is what I was waiting for here, the Senior Bowl. Let's see what kind of clips they got us. Yeah, this is great. Gonna watch football. Prospects. I'm gonna pause it real quick. I'm gonna say this. I I would personally pay attention to whatever players the Giants highlight here, right? Like, there's a lot of players at the Senior Bowl. They Senior Bowl and the Giants are almost synonymous at that point, right? Like at this point, right? We know the Giants love their players that show out at the Senior Bowl. Man, you know Daniel Jones, Senior Bowl MVP, uh, Kyle Lalletta, Senior Bowl MVP, Davis Webb, Senior Bowl MVP. <laughs> like the Giants and the Senior Bowl is like peanut butter and jelly at this point at uh, the NFL offseason and draft time. So for whoever is the editor, the video editor for the Giants that put this thing together, I'm going to just pay attention to whatever players they, they kind of have the camera on a little longer than usual. You know what I'm saying? All right, who was that? I could, I'm could. i going to have to rewind. Prospects. Let's see. Number 40. Why is his helmet just pure white? And then we got this uh, offensive lineman. Ooh, hold up. Let me take a look if I could catch that number again. Number 73. What is that, from North Dakota State? All right. Let's take a look at that again. Is that West Virginia? Yo, somebody that knows these names and helmets better than I do, put it in the comments down below. I know there's one of y'all that know this. Yeah, I'd like to see if they let him see. Wide receiver here. number one, like uh -oh. L. Watson, was that what that said? Was that Trevor Penning? How you doing, man? Joe Shane. I'm with the Giants. Have you guys seen the Southern kid at all? Central Michigan guy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. He's asking State around, State. you know what I'm saying? State. It's good to be here doing this. Was, was, San Diego was that who I thought it was? Please don't. I'll, I'm just saying, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Pinbar your stopwatch. Kobe Bryant. Oh, man. I am such a big fan of Kobe Bryant. Not just the name. All right, not just the name. There's a Chris Paul in this draft somewhere, too, by the way. That's hilarious to me. You got a Chris Paul and a Kobe Bryant in the NFL draft. But Kobe Bryant, I almost had him in my mock draft, for those of you that watched it, in the fourth round, I think it was. Instead, I opted to go Jalen Tolbert. And if I had more time to edit that mock draft, I actually would have done both of them. You know, I'd have been like, you guys make the pick. I would have done two slides for the uh, round four pick right there. I really like Kobe Bryant out of Cincinnati. I think he's somebody the Giants could legitimately pick up. Keep your eye on this man for those of you that don't know him, man. Love this kid. In person to see him move around and, and some players have good weeks and, uh, you know, make films. Was that the I homie? Seen in person to see him move around and, and some players. Was that, was that Jerome Ford? Listen, y'all know I had the Giants taking Jerome Ford in the mock draft. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And some people haven't played, you know, football in a month or two, so uh, you can kind of tell, you know, how serious they take it. Or hey, give me water. Or they, hey, can I please have? Some, you know, I mean, you're just paying attention. To All right, you know, character guys and, and whatnot. Anymore. But I saw some back, and I need to go <laughs> back to a lot of scouts here in terms of our personnel staff. So you know, I like to stand on the sideline. I can kind of. hear Listen. Why are you with the Jets, mommy? Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come on now, mom. Why are you with the Jets? Come over to the Giants. Come over to the Giants. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Stop it. Get some help. Responding. How do they treat the trainers when they need water? Hey, give me water. Or they, hey, can I please have, you know, I mean, you're just paying. This guy right here, is that the, is that North Dakota State? Hold up. Because that's a bison, right? Let me look this up. Number one, North Dakota State. This particular receiver, Christian Watson. Christian Watson. I'm going to definitely keep him in mind because that's not the first time we've seen him. Pascal can, Garrett so right there, man. I'm telling you, we might need a DT. That, that we know everything that we, we can about them. Travis Jones as well as somebody else that I really like. 
And Chris Paul, this Tulsa kid. So Chris Paul, Isaiah Thomas at Oklahoma, and Kobe Bryant at Cincinnati. Yo, man, great minds, great minds think alike. What can I say? Is that Trevon Walker? Fast and Furious, man. Uh, I'm just, okay. I think that's Garrett again. I'm not sure if I got a good look at that. Just smart, tough, and dependable. You know, that's once again not the first time they're showing Trevor Penning. I, right, y'all, listen. There's like two players that stood out to me the most so far, right? That guy, Christian Watson, out of North Dakota State University, the wide receiver. And, and now Trevor Penning. Trevor Penning is somebody that is going in like the teens or the 20s. So trade back? Question mark? I would not be opposed to a trade back. Guys that are smart, tough, and dependable, that care about football, no, we, that care about their... Who is that? I was about to say, you know, you get assets, whether it's for this draft, next draft, whatever the case is. I'm, I'm down for a trade teammates. back. You know, it's not so much about the glitz and the glamour. I really can't tell who that was. Is that Harris yeah. on the back? Have some leadership to you when maybe things aren't going wrong or teammates aren't doing Sanders. it well. Sanders. You know, somebody that'll kind of write the ship and, you got, and get um, the team Brian back Osama, in the right Chad right so, there, linebacker you know, those are the group. Type of players that we're looking at. It makes all of our lives. Why is this the second time we see Kenny Pickett? Please, God, don't. Don't let it happen, bro. You know, your whole support staff doesn't have all hands on deck to get... It is a long... I don't know how long it's going to be after I edit it down. But right now, this video is at, like, 19 minutes. I'm going to try and edit it down for y'all. But, like, that senior... I'm going to try and get all my senior bowl thoughts in here for sure, if anything. I, I Like I said, it could be completely coincidental. I could be jumping the gun 100%. I could be completely exaggerating how much the importance is. But I, I think you should, you should really keep an eye on the guys that they highlighted on, or guys that, you know, they showed. The New York Giants potentially win football games today. Yeah, that's how we need to A little bit more GM speak. The building with well, well, it's the big show. Well, it's the big bad show tonight. And that's what this organization is going to it. be all about. Just because of that, I'm going to... I'm a, Yo, I'm gonna have to be looking at some high school games, bro. I gotta get a, I gotta get a call in there, bro. The Kush, the Giants just ran the Kush, not the weed. All right, the Kush, maybe some alcohol. Let me stop. We got a lot of work to do. We got a, a wife involved. Oh yeah, this 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 man got a lot of. He rival. Yo, listen, he 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 gonna put Philip Rivers out of work with the amount of kids he got. I look forward to getting with you guys. It's gonna be tough times, but what we do in this building is what matters championship performance level from everyone in those seats and if you're a champion in what you do in your role we'll be a champion as a team i'll call out a name you say ready i'll break and we'll clap so i'll say t-mac ready everybody got it hey that, that's kind of cool <laughs> oh they not ready for this bro <laughs> just as i said that's kind of cool you heard somebody start laughing Cause they're the penny, yo. Watch this be like eight a.m. or something, man. They're not fully awake or something, but I could see this becoming funny real quick. Like he gonna call somebody's name and they not gonna do it or something like that. But uh, we used to do this in wrestling meetings. Um, at least when I was out in high school wrestling team, bro. I think this is just a sports thing. Cause I'm, I've seen other teams do it as well. I was gonna call on you, but I won't. <laughs> Should have called on John. Not good enough. <laughs> Head. What I say? <laughs> I gotta got do a better job teaching this thing. So I mean, that was my reaction to Giants Life episode one. I, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do this for every episode unless you guys want me to. I mean, definitely put your thoughts down below on that. If you want to see a follow up reaction video to episode two, hit that like button. But like I said, it was mostly just to give my thoughts on it. And I think my favorite part of the video was without a doubt the senior bowl. I'm a nut when it comes to draft time and prospects and stuff like that. And I'm a, I get a little crazy when it comes to it as well. So like I said, I could be over-exaggerating. I could be looking into a story that's not there. But after this, I really am keeping my eye on two dudes. And that is Trevor Penning, the tackle, and Christian Watson, the wide receiver. Both of them had a little bit more screen time you know, than usual compared to other prospects here. Also, Kenny Pickett was there a little too much for my liking. Um, you know, uh, just thinking about a couple guys I saw. I'm not sure if I saw Trevon Walker, but I definitely saw Haskell Garrett on the screen as well. Kobe Bryant, you know, Jerome Ford. Listen, when you only saw one clip of him, 
I'm pretty sure that was him, number four, running back, Cincinnati. I'm like 99% sure that was him, unless there's another running back at Cincinnati that was at the Senior Bowl that I don't know about. But I'm a big fan of Jerome Ford as well, so if there's a chance we could draft that guy, I'm all in for it. And, and then, you know, getting back to pending specifically, there's been a lot of draft talks about the Giants potentially trading down, and I am 100% for it. It would be amazing if we could trade down, just get more assets, whether it's this year or next year, and still get a tackle. Penning is somebody that's really, really tough and has some nastiness to him that, like, for example, a uh, a Charles Cross doesn't have. And I don't want to get on Charles Cross too much because he's had a rough week on Giants Twitter. Uh, I like Charles Cross a lot. I think he's the third best tackle in this class. But Penning is like my tackle four. So I, I wouldn't mind him if we draft him, but I certainly think we should draft him by trade down. Like, I think he's definitely going to be there in the teens or in the 20s. So, I mean, what does that suggest? Maybe it suggests they're, they're the Giants are targeting somebody with lay you know, on defense at five or something like that, and they're going to trade down seven. Or maybe they take defense at seven and they trade it down from five. I'm just, you know, throwing ideas out there. But it would be pretty cool if we do that. And I'll have to look into Christian Watson, see what rounds he's going at, you know, where he's going to go at. But we saw him a couple times. Helmet threw me off a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that was him. You know, green, yellow. Bison on the helmet. Got to be Christian Watson out of NDSU. But that's my, that's it for today, guys. Let me know what you think. Put your thoughts and comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'm out. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for checking out my channel, The Hub, here on Giants YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you hear every time I put out a video. Like it, share, and subscribe, and I'm out.